So wines for Christmas and that work equally well, you know, summer. And I guess the beauty is here that, you know, our wines have to do both because, you know, Christmas tends to be played out against a backdrop for most of us of sort of 35 degrees and baking hot conditions. Um, we talked about alternative varieties, I'm a big fan of those, and I think there's a producer who's doing some great things, um, Chalmers, Bruce Chalmers has done some fantastic stuff. He's got a Vermentino out, so um, Italian varietal, really clean, really crisp, really fresh, um, delicious kind of seafood friendly white, but just great at sort of, you know, cleansing your palate in warm weather. So Chalmers Vermentino retails for about 20 bucks a bottle, fantastic and a great summer drink. Um, I'm a big rosé fan, and it doesn't matter, it seems wherever you go in the world right now, people are head over heels in love with rosé. Uh, the style of rosé I like is sort of dry, bone dry rosé, and I think for that reason it lends itself better to food. Um, Planeta make a fantastic example of rosé uh, um, from Sicily, it's again, it's bone dry, it's super fresh, great value for money, you know, it's sort of 25 bucks a bottle, it's racy, um, delicious with, you can have it with sort of, you know, beautiful sweet tomatoes, fresh mozzarella, um, or again, on its own. And I think, you know, when it comes to sort of summer and we're barbecuing a lot, we're char grilling things, particularly seafood on the barbecue, that's where those wines work beautifully. And Planeta Rosé is, you know, hands down one of my favorite. Um, and then Christmas pudding. You know, probably the thing you'd least want to eat on a 35 degree day at Christmas, but great nonetheless and traditional. And you know, for me, um, when it comes time for Christmas pudding, Pedro Jimenez or PX Sherry from Spain. Um, you know, these incredibly sort of rich, viscous, they almost have the consistency of engine oil, these wines when you pour them. Um, but in terms of aromatics, they sort of smelled like dried fruits, like nuts, like mocha, dry ground Middle Eastern spices, and they're syrupy and they're rich. And, you know, for that reason, I think they, they're just fantastic with, with things like plum pudding or, um, you know, dried fruits and nuts and those kind of things. My favorite producer is probably uh, Sanchez Romate. Um, comes into Australia. It's sort of, again, it retails for about 50 bucks a bottle, so it's not cheap. But because it's fortified and it's a 750 ml bottle, it'll last for ages. You don't have to worry about it. But uh, good chance that being as delicious as it is, it probably won't last you any more than a couple of days. So, yeah, that'd be my choice.